lost another one today. Robbie Robertson. Woke up and found out Rodriguez passed away yesterday. It's hard losing you. People you like. The band named itself simply the band after being Bob Dylan's backup band in the 60s. Music fans didn't realize how much they were getting. The band, four Canadians and a Southerner, would carve out a place for itself in American pop music that remains unique. The band's first album, Music from Big Pink, made their song The Wait a classic back in July 1968. I think that that period, that late 60s period, was such an inspired period when there were so many people doing so much good music that it made everybody else say, boy, I better do something myself here, or, or you know, or I should be waiting in the car if this, you know, if I'm not going to step up to the plate with so this Jimi Hendrix thing, this Van Morrison, and what the Stones are doing, and what the Beatles are doing, and Bob Dylan. There was so much going on everywhere, and everybody was lifting this standard, and it's very healthy for music. Was there life uh, before Bob Dylan hired the band, or was there life after might be a better question? It was just all an extension of the music that we were playing, and whether it was in this light or in that place or in this bar or in this hall, it was all a musical experience, and it was a long thread of a, of a story to me, and it began somewhere, and it just kept going, you know, and, and the band's thing was just really in the name of music and some kind of tradition, you know, we were trying to take things that were passed down to us, you know, f since the beginning of American music and incorporate it into what we were doing then. Elaborate a little bit for me on what American music was and remains from your point of view, because I think the band really represented that. Just drawing upon all these sources, it's like the beginning of rock and roll when you took a little bit of country music and a little bit of blues and then a little bit of this kind of rhythm, boogie-woogie rhythm, and you mix these things together and, and with an attractive attitude in the, in, in the songwriting, in the lyric writing, and you put them together and it's like... your idea. You did it with Martin Scorsese. It has been hailed since then as the definitive rock and roll movie. Did it feel like the definitive rock and roll movie at all when you were making it? What was the experience like? Well, it, it went from just very frightening. I mean, there was, there was times when we thought, this this will never work. This is all take one. I mean, something's going to break. Something's going to... And we were just blessed. The, the night of the concert, I mean, there were problems, and the problems actually worked for the film. It was like somebody up there was looking after us here, and we got to the concert, and it was such a great feeling to think, we did it, we lived. And in my heart, I know it was done for, re for musical reasons, and all of these people that represented, you know, a different aspect of this big melting pot that makes up modern music and rock and roll. All these wonderful people have made a great contribution to it. Uh, it makes me feel, I haven't looked at it in quite a while, but the last time I did, it still held up pretty good. When the band went out on their reunion tour a couple of years ago, did you ever see them or did you even ever think about going out and performing with them again? No, I had made up my mind, you know, after we did the last waltz, I, I really thought that we had tested those waters enough. and, and Maybe I just didn't have as strong a need, you know, when someone says, uh, gee, I said that I, uh, I didn't need this anymore, but it's in my blood and I do need it. When, when they felt that they needed to go back out and play, I understood that. I understood where someone could say, this is too big a part of my life, I can't let it go. So uh, they went out with my blessings. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't for me, but I... I I don't want to hang on to the past. I don't want to depend on the past at all, at all. I really appreciate it. I have a tremendous amount of thankfulness for what that period, you know, gave me and everything, but I just refuse to, to depend on the past. Robertson doesn't have to depend on the past. His new LP is doing just fine, and fans are very happy to have him back. Jane? You know, we're going to go away for a while, but we'll be back after a message. <laughs>